I'd like to change things up a little bit here in this video and talk about the world right now and some of the stresses that we as Christians and we as people on the face of the earth are experiencing. It, it's a time of unprecedented peril in so many areas. There's health concerns, diseases in hospitals, bacterial infections that we're running out of antibiotics to fight safety fears. Violence is increasing everywhere in the world. There's fires that rage out of control all year long on either side of the equator. There's rumors of wars. It seems like everybody's rattling the saber. Russia, China, Korea, Iran against Israel, the United States, Taiwan, the United Kingdom. There's earthquakes, floods, famines. We have glacial melt, hurricane, landslides, tornadoes, permafrost thaw releasing more carbon, more methane into the atmosphere, ozone layer deterioration. The oceans are rising, island nations are disappearing. The Bible says that the kingdom of God will rise up against the kingdom of Satan. The word says this is not yet the end. This is only the beginning of the birth pains. It is the world groaning under the weight of our sin. Therefore, take a moment to breathe. God says breathe. It's okay. This isn't the end. Inhale peace. Exhale peace praise. Inhale calm. Exhale thanksgiving. Inhale serenity and exhale worship for a living God. Pray. Empty yourself of all anxiety. Philippians 4 6 says don't worry about anything. Instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live and rest in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable, right and pure, lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Let your mind dwell on these things. Whether you're a new believer or a seasoned ambassador, here are some of these things to think on. Remember, you are a new creature in Christ. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. A new thing is a garment of praise. Put it on. Offer up a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to God. Remember, His mercies are new each day. Though the night might be filled with sorrows, His joy does come in the morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. He's given it to you. Therefore, rejoice. Be glad in it. This is a pure and honorable thing to do and give it unto God. Let the water of the word wash you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Though your garments were stained red with the stain of sin, they are washed as white as snow because of the love of Christ and the shed blood of Christ. His sacrifice on the cross paid the debt of our sin. If we ask him for forgiveness and yield our lives to him for direction, he will heal us. Jesus says, Behold, my advice to you is to buy from me gold that is purified in the furnace, so that you may be rich. This isn't the wealth of the nations, but rather the treasure of God, and white garments to wear to hide the shame of your nakedness and salve to put on your eyes to make you see. This is the word of God. All those whom I love, I correct and discipline. Now, what person among us didn't have parents that disciplined us in the best way they thought? 
God does the same, only His way is good for us. Therefore, shake off your complacency and repent. See, Jesus is standing, knocking at the door. If anyone listens to my voice, he says, and opens the door, I will go into his house and dine with him, and he with me. To those who overcome, I will give the honor of sitting beside me on my throne. My friend, if you liked the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Allow the word to speak to you. Let it breathe life to you. Let God quicken it. Let it become alive and active in your light, life. His word is a light that will guide your path, and it's a lamp that will show you where to set your feet. Even when you stumble, he will catch you up. It is a light in a dark place, and it will show you the way out, so that you may enter into a brighter place. His word will lead you to him, Jesus.